Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the channel. This is Nas. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, my manga reads, what I've been reading in January. But at the same time, I'm going to do kind of like a channel update. And, uh, you know, what's going on? What's up with the channel? What's, what, what is in store for the future? So let's just get into it. Uh, this month I've read uh, Ultraman. I've read volume uh, 9 uh, through 13. Uh, 14 is out. I have it, but I haven't read that one. Kind of savoring it, waiting for volume 15 to come out. Uh, so volume 9 actually begins the new arc for the series and transitions from the setting was in uh, Japan in the beginning. And then it kind of goes into New York and there's a new Ultraman in town. Uh, kind of like he gains a new power because there's a, like an alien uh, drug out there. And uh, so... Uh, the series explores more of the dynamic between the 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 aliens, uh, you know, the 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 immigrant aliens on Earth, and how that is also kind of being a secret from the you know like the the general public does not know that there is a there there are aliens inhabiting the planet, and uh, some of the ramifications and so some of the groups and what this new uh, the council or the space the science patrol. What they, what you know, what are some of their policies and how they're interacting? Uh, and so, volume 13 uh, resolves some of the issues, and there is a new, uh, a new way uh, for Moroboshi, some one of the characters, one of the Ottoman, uh, some of his uh, history. And so, it's revealed a little bit. A layer has been pulled back for us. So, uh, I can't wait to read volume 14 and continue the series. So, I enjoyed the read. So, this is what I've been reading for this month. Uh, or focusing on so 9 through 13 uh, in kind of the same fashion I kind of focused on this one too this series uh, I read 1 through 5 for B stars so uh, I reread 1 and 2 actually I already read 1 and 2 but I kind of reread it to in, in, a, in a way to kind of refresh my memory so 1 and 2 for B stars we re 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 reread and I continued the story uh, kind of the dynamic the life uh, the love circle for uh, Haru and uh, Lagouche, uh, so, and 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 by volume five, uh, Louis, one of the characters, takes a turn, and and some of his uh, secrets has been revealed, and wow, I just gotta say wow, and also uh, that ending, that that cliffhanger of volume five, <laughs> in a way for me, uh, I didn't see it coming, but it felt a little bit cliche in a way. Yeah, I know what's gonna happen afterwards. It's kind of like uh, maybe. Uh, the relationship uh, between Lagouche and Haru, in a way, seems uh, that uh, uh, there is a trajectory that it needs to go. But at the same time, there is this, you know, this halt, this uh, teasing that's going on in the in the manga for me. Uh, personally, I'm not a. I don't like you know, Haru in a sense. Uh, the rabbit. Uh, I don't know. It just is not like one of the characters that I like. But at the end of the day, that's you know Lagouche kind of has to work through his feelings and, and find out what he wants. So, personally, it feels like a teasing is going on. But, uh, yeah, I haven't read Volume 6 yet. And I'm probably going to wait until Volume 10 and 11 comes out not before I read that. So, yeah, hoping, looking forward to that one. And the most recent manga that I've read is uh, this one, the second volume for, the second omnibus for Blade of the Immortal. And I was, like, intrigued. Uh, the, the, the first two volumes, so... Uh, it's three and four in here, and then I think three, four, and five. No, no, it's four, five, and six actually. Yeah, so four and five in here, uh, kind of have a, a a trajectory. I kind of like the interaction between uh, uh, Rin and Anatsu, uh, their their encounter, accidental encounter, and some of the the conversation uh, the conversation that they had, philosophical in some sense, also explores and uh, puts a lot of doubt into Rin's uh, revenge uh, journey because uh, Rin wants to have, you know, that's her goal to avenge the death of her parents. And, uh, uh, you know, Anatsu just sowed some seeds of doubt into her uh, mind. And uh, I think, uh, and then her next encounter, the next character that she encounters, uh, the kind of like the guy that mas you know, makes masks uh, from the Ituryu, uh, even though he has a kid, now she's hesitating, you know, uh, uh, fulfilling her revenge. So I like that. And then the sixth volume in here uh, explores a little bit more characters outside of Rin and, uh, you know, our boy. Uh, and uh, I kind of like that.
the art also gets better. Oh my goodness, the art gets better and better. And uh, in a sense, uh, something that I've noticed is that the shading is darker in these omnibuses than the, the deluxe edition that they have at the moment. So that's kind of the last of the manga. And then I've been I started the the light novel here, this series, uh, bottom tier character, Tamazaki, and I just read the first part, really the first chapter, and kind of just set it aside. Uh, it's not that I didn't enjoy it or like it or continue reading it. I just wanted to savor it at some other time because I was reading multiple books at the same time, and I was like, maybe I want to, you know, uh, dedicate some time to this. So uh, I left it alone. And these two next entries are the reasons why I haven't read that many manga. It's uh, uh, kind of continued, has to do with kind of the announcement that I'm going to make and kind of where the channel is going to be going. Uh, I've been reading this this uh, Guardians of the Moon by Steven Erickson, which is kind of like the first book in the Malazan, uh, uh, which is like 10 books, I think, gigantic books. Uh, each one kind of about six, 700 pages. Uh, this is a fantasy uh, in the beginning, I didn't know what the hell was going on, and it was hard for me to get into it. Uh, the writing was, you know, uh, it's very, very descriptive, but kind of a little bit. Uh, it takes a minute to get used to, but once I got past the, the about 150 page mark, uh, it became a page turner, and I was, uh, you know, immersed in the whole. I kind of knew what was going on. You know, I knew a character, what, what, some of the different uh, uh, players. Even though <laughs> at times I had to go back into the glossary or kind of the kind of get back into and check back back and forth as to who's who, what character, what god, it's just so many characters and so many different uh, terminologies and uh, lingo that's going on that it took a minute for me to kind of connect the dots. And uh, at first, people said uh, initially before I started this, some of the buzz that was going around was that. Uh, it would take up until about by book three to know whether you love the series or not. But I, I'm already on board. You know, past the hundred page, that's it. So I'm kind of about halfway at the moment, and I'm I'm, I'm enjoying every second that I uh, enjoy in this world. Uh, whether I'm in the Malazan Empire or in what is it, Dorstan's time? Some of the terms and analogies is hard for me to pronounce, but that's what I've been reading. And then also I've been reading uh, Dune. Uh, I'm halfway through this, so I've been reading all like Dune and uh, Gardens of the Moon, and I've been reading them at the same time, kind of just you know changing pace because uh, I have an OCD and attention uh, deficiency, <laughs> at, <laughs> ADHD. At some in some sense, I can't stay focused on one aspect, so I gotta change between different books. Uh, so Dune here, this one too also kind of got a little bit in the beginning, maybe about fifty pages in. That's when it got interesting. So uh, it didn't take uh, as long as uh, Gardens of the Moon. But this one, wow. Now I know why people are saying, and I'm happy to read this before the movie comes out. And that's kind of the reason why. Because, uh, yeah, I actually want to get the, uh, the newest edition that came out with the, the illustration, the hardcover. That looks dope. I'll, I'll post the picture. But yeah, I'm halfway through this. Uh, I'm enjoying it at the moment. I think I'm in book two or book three or something like that. This one too. It's a fantastic read, and that's kind of the, the, uh, comes ties into the announcement that I wanted to make uh, originally when I started this channel. Uh, yeah, I also I want to just kind of talk about the manga that I've been reading and some of the manga that I got, and maybe just interact with people on the internet that I have similar tastes when it comes to manga, and kind of that was the point. But. Uh, uh, as in manga, for me personally, is not something that's new to me. Uh, when I started this channel, it just kind of reignited that love that I had for reading. So, once I started reading more manga, I started to read other stuff that I used to read also, whether it be fantasy, nonfiction, other stuff. But I never really used to talk about it uh, on the channel. I kind of just focused on maybe what I've been reading as far as manga, what I've been getting as far as manga is concerned. And, uh, Going forward, I just want to kind of maybe uh, because a lot of people that maybe subscribed kind of all into the manga and not really into maybe light novels or regular fantasy books, you know, written text. Uh, but uh, I just want to have that format that I did where I kind of talk about the manga that I read and then maybe go on into light novels and other 
uh, form of media that I'm um, enjoying. That's kind of the, the setup that I want to go with going forward, kind of the announcement. Uh, the other announcement that I wanted to make is that I'm going to be taking some time off from you know this YouTubing thing, uh, partially because I'm going to be going on a trip and I don't think I'm going to have time to check in and uh, so... And also, I'll, I'll be away from my home, so I won't be able to read the manga that I have. And I don't want to carry around manga. It's heavier. Uh, I don't want to take a single volume. It's easier to actually just take like a, you know, like a book like Dune and enjoy it as opposed to taking one volume of B stars, you know, that I can read in 20 minutes. And it's like, well, I've read volume six now. I'm stuck in limbo. Uh, it's better to kind of just consume, you know, a single novel as opposed to taking one volume of manga with me. So I'll probably just continue reading my Dune and, uh, you know, Erickson, uh, The Guardian of the Moon. Uh, for the next two months, uh, I also have a Kindle, so I'll take my Kindle with me uh, and probably just you know, read maybe a light novel uh, that I have on my Kindle and other novels that I have on there as opposed to the manga. I don't like reading manga on the internet or on my Kindle. So kind of like uh, the channel will be on pause for that reason because I'll be going away. I'll be out and about uh, I'll be going on a trip I'll be back in March sometime so no manga haul no manga reads uh, no reviews but until then uh, I hope you guys just enjoy you know uh, let me know what you guys have been reading for this month uh, like I said I'm just uh, kind of doing an update as to what's been going on and lately I haven't made any videos because I've been working harder uh, uh, the job my job they've been just plowing more hours on me close to about 50 60 hours a week so because of that i haven't been able to kind of edit or film any videos but it's cool you know uh now the slow season is kicking in so hopefully 2021 is going to be a different year but for the moment uh manga hauls are going to be on pause until march and uh, any manga reads will be also on pause but after i come back the format will be in this manner kind of like i'll talk about manga reads and then I'll talk about what else I got, you know, what else I read. Because I usually read another another book. I usually read uh, one or two books uh, kind of along with my manga. I don't only exclusively read manga. Uh, the only thing I've been doing was covering manga on this channel. That's pretty much what it was, has been going on. Anyways, I've been rambling on long enough. Uh, thanks for watching and peace. Yeah.